All right, man. So it's been a it's been a crazy three weeks, uh, or going to be a crazy three weeks at least, uh, for music. Man, June has definitely been a one to write in 2023, and I say a lack of music in 2023. Uh, but the pink tape has been announced that you guys have been basically asking for since last year. It is now confirmed. The pink tape. It is going to be here. Uh, Lil Uzi Vert. Now he dropped. What was that shit called? Um, yeah, I went on back. <sighs> And I'm in a lag, and I hit it with a tag. Yeah, what was that track called? June, uh, what was it called? I forget what it was called, but it dropped last year. I got copyright strike. I just got off of that copyright strike, thank God. Um, but Uzi, yeah, Pink Tape, man. Rumored to be around 25 to 27 tracks. I don't know how I feel about that. Y'all already know I already have this thing about Uzi. He's not changed my mind yet. Now, I do believe Eternal Otake is his best album, but Lil Uzi recently has been like whatever to me uh it has not been the same transition as cardi uh, i know a lot of people like to compare cardi and uzi when it comes to these new artists but um 24 songs y'all say everybody's already saying pink tape is the album of the year which i find funny because it hasn't even released yet i'm not gonna lie 20 25 tracks is a lot of tracks now he hasn't dropped since 2018 album at least 2018 um so a lot of people are saying 25 tracks is okay because we haven't got a lot of music from them, so it's fine i don't really agree with that take but i mean it, to each their own apples to apples apples to oranges both fruits who cares i just think that uzi for me what i want to hear from him is a little bit more variety you know i think that's the one thing that was i was i was mad at from his last album even though I loved, what was the one track? Final Fantasy. I thought Final Fantasy was dope as fuck. Still listen to Final Fantasy to this day. Um, I thought it was a dope ass track. He performed that also at Rolling Loud, which I thought was cool. Uh, I think that Uzi just needs variety. I know a lot of you guys are listening to the snippets. You guys are saying he had a lot of rock influence. There's actually a snippet right here that somebody sent to me. Um, what if I. What if I. What if I was? What if I was? I I'm assuming that water files is so the copyright doesn't hit. What if I was? What if I was? What if I was? Now that's that's actually amazing. Um, obviously, classic sounds never go away. I don't want another snippet. I already heard what I needed to hear. And waterfalls is exactly what we need so we don't get copyright clapped. Um, I'm happy that he's dropping these type of tracks because I believe Uzi... Look, they always said they were rock stars. And it always confused me back in the day when they referenced themselves as rock stars. Especially when they made, um, right, you know, you were right, you were wrong. That track right there, uh, the Lil Uzi versus the world. They were referencing themselves as rock stars when it made no sense because they weren't at all like i showed you guys what real rock concerts look like and they did not look like that all right it's a culture it's a sound it wasn't that and while they were the most popular artists on the earth at that time or becoming one of the most popular artists on the earth i didn't agree with the genre they were repping or trying to say that they owned and it just wasn't them and now you see cardi who has now become a bona fide rock star or at least the closest thing to a rock star with his new shit him and og doing their motherfucking thing in them live shows uh wlr being heavily rocked punk influenced um being his best album to date as i always preach talk to him dev i'm talking to him yami i think uzi needs to figure out the same thing uzi needs to figure out what he's going to do with this track or this album because there's no way you're going to get 25 tracks on here and just have them straight trap there's just no way I'm cool with the, some of the hyper rage. I'm cool with some of the trap. Maybe some melodic. Maybe get some rock on there. Your peers have done it. Cardi's done it. Trippy's done it. I feel like at this point, he has to do it. Ju Juice has done it. Well, AI Juice has done it. XXX Tentacion was basically doing it to start it off. So, um, yeah, man. If it was 27 trap. If it's literally 27 tracks of Uzi doing um, Sauce It Up, 
I don't know how I feel that. I, I really don't know how I would feel about an album of 27 Salsa Dubs. And I like Salsa Dub. I think Salsa Dub is a great track. Um, I just can't listen to it 27 times. All right. Um, breathe in. Breathe out. But I, oh, my God. I don't like that song either. <laughs> I, I, again, I'm very specific when it comes to Uzi and what I like as an Uzi artist. Again, you guys asked for my opinion. I'm going to give you my opinion. Don't get mad when I give you my opinion on Lil Uzi Vert. All right? Don't make that into a motherfucking meme. All right? I'm just giving you guys exactly what y'all asked me for. And that's exactly what I give you guys. All right? If you guys are going to ask me my opinion, or not even my opinion, just what I feel about this track, and I give you guys, don't get mad because I don't like it. All right, don't get mad because I don't like it. That's just what it is. All right, that's just literally what it is. Um, but I do love the system of the down remix that he did. The remix essentially sounds like the same track, but just Uzi rapping over it again. Legendary beat in itself. Um, Chop Suey again, it's on my wall as you guys can see. Um, Toxicity, I think that that album, I think that the sound will always be classic and why he's rapping over that. Uzi could rap over all the small things. Uzi could rap over Fat Lips, some 41. Uzi could rap over Wheezy. I mean, Weezer say it ain't so. Um, he can rap over Soundgarden, Black Hole Sun. You know, like, he can literally rap over anything that's classic, and it's going to sound all right just because of the beat. I want to hear it mixed differently as well, not just a straight-up, you know, him freestyling or putting his verse over the beat that's already been um, stapled in the legendary rock scene you know like i just think that i think uzi on aerials by by system of that yeah aerials I, I don't i don't know i don't know if he has that 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 range to hit that you know like that range and that evilness and that 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 darkness again i always told you guys when it came to uzi uzi doesn't give me darkness vibes He gives me airy vibes. He gives me happy vibes. He gives me very uplifting vibes. So whenever I think of I think of Trip whenever I listen to Trippy, Trippy sounds like he's going through shit. X sounds like he's going through shit. Cardi doesn't even sound like he's dark. But Cardi has energy. I don't, Uzi also has energy, again, Uzi has energy, and he brings that light to it, I just don't think he has that darkness to him to bring that, Trippy Rock, yeah, Rock Trippy is, is a different, in a different league, if we just talk about strictly rock shit, so yeah, that's just how I feel about it, man, um, we're gonna see, I don't wanna do too much, I'm just giving you guys exactly what I'm thinking, do we think Uzi will outsell Cardi? I think uh, I think he will. It's Uzi. I mean, in terms of popularity, Uzi is more. Well, before I don't know who is now because Vamp, Vamp the Vamp sexuals, you know they are they are out there. Trans Vamps they are out there. All right, it is it is a cult of its own, and that boy has been forming his cult as if. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think Uzi gonna sell three hundred k easily. Easily, just from all the fans. Easily. Um. Yeah, Uzi been uh, basing his whole career personality being quirky and flamboyant. No one's gonna take him serious when he's dark. Exactly. He's been very flamboyant. He's been very. Um. I mean, he has the punk thing going on here with this with this picture, especially with his rolling loud choice and outfits. I just don't see Uzi as a matter of darkness. I just don't see him in, in that light. That's a bar, Dev. God damn. I like how you did that right there. Um, I just don't see him in that light. So that's kind of just where I'm, I'm looking at it from. Like, I I, I really want to see where he goes with this album. I will be tuning in uh, June 30th, next Friday. We will be here. Tuning the fuck in. And uh, yeah, man. We're going to see on this next album. We're going to see. We're going, we are definitely going to see. It's closer than... It is close. All our questions will be answered in exactly nine days. So... <laughs> so we definitely going to get our answers soon. 
sooner than later. Cardi is Marilyn Manson. Uzi is Kirk. <laughs> okay. Uh, on that note, we uh, will end the video on that. Uh, let me know how you guys feel in the comment box below. Pink Tape will be here next week. We will see you here next week. Don't forget, follow me on Twitch if you don't want to miss the live stream because that's where it's going to end up being. Still deciding if I'm going to put it on YouTube or not. We shall see. But uh, to the next time, Def, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share all the good stuff I'm sure here. And to the next time, man, YouTube, we are out. Peace. Wait. He said Kurt Cobain? You mean Kurt Co Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant Kurt Cobain's, bro. You meant Kurt Cobain? <laughs> what the fuck? Nigga said Kurt Cobain. He said, bro, I was, it was mind blowing to me because you said Cardi is the Marilyn Manson. And then you said Uzi is the Kurt Cobain's. <laughs> I was like, damn, nigga, that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful as fuck. He said, nah, not Kurt Cobain's. Kurt Cobain. <laughs> hey, man. Niggas is sick, boy. <laughs> nigga said Kurt Cobain. That's why it threw me off, bro. I was appalled by this shit. Nigga said, nigga said, oh, and Ooh, he said, play with Cardi is Marilyn Manson, and Uzi is Kirk Cobain. <laughs> Wait, you meant Kurt Cobain? Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is crazy. Yo, yo, y'all are funny, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, y'all are funny, dog. That is crazy. Oh, man. I can't believe that nigga said that shit. Uh, <laughs> got that drink. <laughs> hey, Black Mass, man. Put that Kirk Bangs on Nirvana beat, man. I need that. I need that, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> got this drink in my cup. <laughs> All right, man. I love y'all, man. All right, next, we're going to get to the next video, man.